President Volodymyr Zelensky has said that Ukrainian forces control more than 1,250 square kilometers of territory and 92 settlements in Russia's Kursk region. In a speech on Monday, Zelensky praised his country's armed forces for cross-border attack on Russia, while highlighting Putin's inability to protect his territory from such defensive actions. Our active preventive defense is the most effective counter to Russian terror and ensures a real complication of the situation for the aggressor state. We now have an extremely important ideological change, namely, the entire naive, illusory concept of the so-called red lines regarding Russia, which dominated the assessments of the war by some partners. The world sees that everything in this war depends only on our courage, the courage of our partners, Zelensky said. The Ukrainian leader also called on Western partners to act in sync with Kyiv in countering Russian aggression. Ukrainian troops launched large-scale cross-border incursion into Russia's Kursk region on August 6. The offensive marked the largest such attack on Russian territory since the start of the war in February 2022. Ukrainian troops have been advancing in Kursk and taking hostage a large number of Russian servicemen in the region. Маха ручка. А, это я видел, братан. Здесь два бетра спалили. А это уже, походу, подбили, короче. И она сюда скатилась. БК, БК. Ну да. Да. Миномет работает, но это наш миномет. А вон смотри, кумулятивная защита валяется от танка. Вот эта ракета валяется, уже взорвавшаяся. А эти Иваки, о, нихуя, у Ивак сюда прилетел прилет, ну, да? Не, здесь были. А нет, дальше, дальше. О, слышь, здесь еще две баги спалили. Хуя. Russian propaganda claimed Ukraine was planning to attack the Zaporizhia and Kursk nuclear power plants, hinting that Russia might be planning a nuclear provocation. Andriy Kovalenko, head of the Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine, said this. Russia may be preparing a nuclear provocation. Their scenario of accusing us of terrorism and an attack on the Kursk nuclear power plant did not work, and now they are lying about a dirty bomb and our possible provocation. This is evidence that Russia may be preparing a terrorist attack, Kovalenko wrote. The Center for Countering Disinformation responded to the publications that appeared in the Russian state propaganda agencies RIA, Novosti and TASS. The Russians are spreading claims that Ukraine is preparing to shell the Zaporizhia and Kursk nuclear power plants. The Ukrainian Foreign Ministry 
also denied Russian claims about Kyiv's alleged plans to attack nuclear power plants with so-called dirty bombs. Ukraine has neither the intention nor the ability to carry out any such actions. Russia must stop spreading dangerous lies. Ukraine has always been and remains a committed member of the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. We do not have any dirty bombs and do not plan to acquire them. When the Russian Federation first spread this nonsense in 2022, we invited an IAEA mission which completely refuted this lie. Nothing has changed since then, said Foreign Ministry spokesman Hiori Taiki. We officially refute these false reports. Ukraine has neither the intention nor the ability to carry out any such actions. Russia must stop spreading dangerous lies, he said. The Kursk nuclear power plant is located nearly 80 kilometers from the Kursk Oblast border town of Sudza that was reportedly captured by Ukrainian forces during Kyiv's ongoing incursion into Kursk Oblast. Russian media reported that Russia is preparing to defend the Kursk plant as Ukrainian troops approach and have begun constructing defensive lines near it. The Zaporizhia nuclear plant Europe's largest nuclear power station has been under Russian occupation since March 2022. Its position near the front line has led to heightened nuclear safety risks throughout Russia's full-scale war.